Hey, what up, guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a new FIFA 17 Ultimate Team player review. We're going to look at the team of the season, Timo Werner. The German striker plays for RB Leipzig in the Bundesliga, and he has an 89-rated Tots item. 98 pace, 92 dribbling, 94 shooting, and 81 physical. Unreal stats right there. He's 5'11 with the medium-medium work rates, right-footed with three-star skill moves, and a nice four-star weak foot. So he cost me around 300k, and I've got him in a couple of different teams for you today. The first one is a mix between the Bundesliga, the Premier League, and the Italian Calcio A as well. And we've got some other special players such as Tot Stindl and also the player of the year, Deli Ali. However, this is the team that I actually use them in. It's a mix between the Bundesliga and the Premier League. Again, lots of special items in there. His teammate Tots Forsberg also makes it into the squad. But in this team, he is a lone striker. So when we go on into the in-game stats, we can see that Werner has had both uh, an upgrade and also two informs this year. He's uh, very, very good on basic with 96 dribbling, 95 shooting. He literally has 99 finishing on basic this year, which is outstanding. Today, I used the finisher chemistry style because I was definitely happy with the 98 pace. Already happy with the 92 dribbling as well. And I wanted to boost that shooting as much as possible and also get plus 10 on his strength to hopefully make that a nice, valuable thing that we can have. A nice, valuable stat for him uh, because... 75 strength is, is all right, but 85 strength is, is kind of next level. So moving on into the clips, we can talk about pros and cons for this player. The main negative that I have about this player, uh, apart from the fact that he's only got like three star skill moves, which isn't actually that big of a deal really, it's just something that you guys should know about, uh, is that he's got a relatively low composure stat, and for like the first couple of games I used him in, it sort of felt like 70-30 in his favor, like, but I kind of wasn't sure whether I was going to score or not when I got one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And I'm not sure why that was because his finishing stat and stuff looks great. But it is the composure that, that almost let him down somewhat. I got used to him and he did score an awful lot of goals for me. But it was just those first couple of games of struggling to get used to him, learning what you need to do. You really need to slow down. Once you get in front of goal, slow it down. Don't hold that sprint button. And, and, and just angle your shot perfectly into the corner and that's when you'll start scoring the goals. But yeah, a little bit low on the composure stat. If you try and rush things, you're probably going to miss. So moving on to the positives then, there's a lot longer list of them than there are negatives. Uh, and we can't take away the fact that this player does have fantastic finishing. It's just a, a try and get used to him type of thing and don't rush it because that is when that low composure stat seems to set in for me and I was missing one-on-ones. But what you do notice about Werner is that he's seriously, seriously quick. 98 pace on his item. His acceleration and sprint speed are, are both top notch. Like he, He's so rapid. It's difficult to catch up with him. One of the quickest players on the game, 100%. The next thing that I was impressed with is Werner's strength. I didn't think that the chemistry style was going to help so much. I think it did though. And he was able to hold off some of these stronger center backs on the game. Able to shrug them off. No problem at all. So that was impressive, because uh, I wasn't expecting that in the slightest. I thought he was going to be a little bit weak, because you, you see the stats on his item, and you think, okay, uh, pacey player with good dribbling, he's not going to be very strong. That's that's often the case, but not, not for Werner right here. He's kind of a triple threat, really. He's also solid in the movement department, and by movement, I mean... Off the ball and on the ball. So off the ball, he's he's holding on to that last shoulders defender, uh, last defender's shoulder, should I say, uh, and 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 just running, starting that early run, getting through on goal, getting the one-on-one -on -one situations. He makes himself so many opportunities that that low composure stat doesn't really matter too much because he's going to have so many shots in a game that he will score a couple for you, no doubt about it. Uh, and then on the ball, like his movement, like. The dribbling and stuff and weaving in and out of defenders also really impressed me. So you also get a player with Werner that, because I think partly because of his strength, was, was actually quite good. Um, it, it, good in the air, like good jumping, good heading ability. And the added strength definitely going to help there as well. Uh, I scored a couple of headers with him, but that's not really my play style. So it was more, the, more of a case of that I was impressed that I could whip the ball up from a goal kick. And he would almost act like a target man, which... I wasn't expecting either. So that's another added bonus for Timo Werner. 
And then with his shooting, like, yeah, he's got fantastic finishing. Just get used to it. Don't rush it. The shot power is great as well. Like, he really can smash those low drivens into the bottom of the corner. Um, so... Yeah, he's fantastic. He is a next level elite tier striker in the Bundesliga, in my opinion. Just don't rush things with him is the biggest tip that I can give you. Because that you will start missing your one-on-ones. Other than that, solid, solid player. Hope you guys get to try him out. Let me know what you think of him down below in the comment section if you've used him. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.